What are we making? So, how do we know that we are going to be able to overcome the holidays and stick to our goals during that time? One word. At the time of this recording, it's been five months since we last had table sugar. We have lots of goals, as you know, as we've shared before. You can go check out those videos if you want. We have lots of health goals and we want to achieve them, but we can't if we're addicted to sugar. Sugar has tons of problems that go along with eating too much of it. Weight gain, cancer, skin issues. Heart disease, diabetes, lack of energy. Cellular issues, cavities, mental health issues, and the list goes on and on and on. Ultimately, we wanna reach 100 healthy years. Together, we mm -hmm. wanna reach that. Mm -hmm. But we wanna be like my grandpa Barnum. He reached 100 years old and he was, up until probably like 98 maybe, he was still like working still outside in his garden, you know, not as well as he, you know, had in his young 70s, 70s. and 80s, but, <laughs> but we want to be like that and we can't if we're addicted to sugar. So what about fall? My favorite time of the year. We got Halloween going on. We got my favorite all-time recipe that all the family loves. One recipe cooks three loaves of this, and it is pumpkin chocolate chip bread. And it is, it's so good. It's to die for, guys. Let's just be honest here. But we don't want to die. We want to live to 100. <laughs> <laughs> True. So I'm not making it this year. I'm so sad. <laughs> Plus there's fall time chili cook-offs, which I love mm -hmm. so much. Don't you have like a goal to I, like... I do have a goal to win chili cook-off, but I haven't started it yet because I haven't learned how to make good chili yet. But I'm always a willing participant in the chili cook-offs. Yeah, I'm and so like, chili doesn't necessarily chili have not. sugar, but when we go to these functions, there's always... Dessert of some desserts. kind. Desserts. Yeah. But Halloween. Oh my gosh. And then, I mean, Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, birthdays galore. November. We yeah, have birthdays. Peter, and then Benson, and then me. And then we have Alan's birthday on Halloween as well. Oh, yeah. 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 And then Christmas dinners, Christmas meals, New Year's parties. Mmm. Yeah. Fall and winter time is the time for parties. So we love all these sweets, and we have, but we have these goals to be healthy, and we can't really reconcile the two. We, we just never remember how it actually feels <laughs> after <laughs> we binge. We don't remember the pain, the midnight bathroom trips sometimes, and just the, <laughs> just the feeling of, of the having, blah eaten, feeling. having eaten way too much. But it's gonna be different this year because of our going a year without sugar. Mm -hmm. We set some specific rules for ourselves that we felt was good for our situation. Yeah, so we decided that we're gonna eat fruit and pure maple syrup and honey. Honey. That's how, like, and like milk. We could eat milk, drink milk. Protein powder. Protein powder, oh, and there was one more. Condiments. Yeah, we could use condiments because, you know, like in ranch or in ketchup, there's some sugar, but... Um, well, we decided to do that because we don't have a problem binging on those items. Yeah, yeah. What we really wanted to be able to stop was like, like, oh, let's bake our neighbors some cookies. And then a recipe piles out like 40 cookies, right? And, and then we, we would always give like, half of them to ourselves. Yeah, or our worst times are like date night. Date night. So it's moments like these where we wish we could have sugar, right? Yes. Ugh. So our babysitters are out of town, so date night is at home, and we're just chilling, watching. Netflix. Watching. But <laughs> nine nine. And uh, this is when the sugar, the like, sugar temptations aren't really there, like throughout the day. It's these times, these random nights that we're just like hanging out. That's just a, like an explanation of how it was tailored to our specific goal, mm -hmm. but we knew it was still gonna be hard. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do we know that we are going to be able to overcome the holidays and stick to our goals during that time? Just one word. Momentum. Yep. It's true. We've are, we've been going for five months now. We feel good and we've already passed Ryan's birthday, Lincoln's birthday. Mm -hmm. What Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Easter. Easter. So we're not really, I'm not concerned. I'm not yeah. too worried about it. So there you have it. If you want to stick to your goals through the holidays, get some momentum going. Get the habit of your goal before the holidays come around. So start now. See you later. All right, happy goal achieving. Happy goal achieving. <laughs>